Bonjour YouTube, hello YouTube. Welcome to this video which will walk you through how to set your computer language and your keyboard so that you can very easily type um, French, Spanish, other Romance languages on a laptop. You can reach me at any of these different places here and I'd be happy to support you and help you through this process. So this walkthrough will work seamlessly for any Windows-based software or application that uses a computer or a laptop. So you can use it in any of the Microsoft Office um, applications or programs. Um, you can use it for Gmail, you can use it for surfing the web. Um, you can type accents into pretty much anywhere with this method. So part one is setting up your computer language to US International. Your laptop will come set standard for just straight US or UK or the uh, language that you've purchased your laptop in. Um, but note that if you change your um, language setting while you have applications open, those changes won't take effect until you close it and reopen it. And um, this is a walkthrough for Windows 10. So uh, follow the steps on these following slides and you should be golden. First of all, click Start right down here. Then you will select Settings right here. In your settings window, you'll have these various options. You will choose time and language, speech, region, and date. Once you uh, head in there, you're going to want to choose region and language right here. As an optional thing, you can add a language. You can add all sorts of languages so that your computer will easily recognize and work with those. Um, I've done that because I work with multiple languages, but um, that's an optional thing. To do that, you would uh, Click here, add a language, and then you would scroll to find the language of your choice and just click add or select that. For changing your computer keyboard, um, at the bottom of the uh, languages window, you will uh, notice right down here that you have additional date, time, and regional settings. That's what you want to select here. Then you want to select change input methods. Obviously the input method is you typing your keys and getting particular accents or letters out of those keys. So click options next to the uh, English um, that you have selected. Either it'll be US or UK or whichever is installed on your computer. Choose add an input method right here. Then you'll need to scroll down and uh, you can use that right on the side here. You'll find eventually the QWERTY uh, US International Touch Keyboard Layout. Um, then click Add at the bottom. Once you've selected the QWERTY up here, then your ad will uh, be clickable and you can add that language. Again, um, to make it simpler for you, you can actually opt to then remove uh, the standard US keyboard. So the only one you have is the US International. That's what I've done and I find that works seamlessly for me. So eventually you can go on to check um, your settings um, at the bottom of your screen and you will see that um, you'll have various settings you can choose from. I have English and French installed on my computer um, but you might have others that you've added. So that's right down here. You can always change your language preferences by just checking the, uh, clicking on the settings wheel here and go back to the windows that you've just seen. So that you're now ready to type foreign accents directly and very simply and quickly from your keyboard um, into pretty much any software you can think of. And so just see part two of how to type the accents um, I'll be posting a link to that in the comments below this video and you'll be uh, moving away from function number lock and alt codes. You'll have no more insert symbols or copy pasting from other software. You'll find that it's super easy and fluent and seamless working between multiple languages with this method. And that's it. 
Thanks so much for watching. Please comment and like in, uh, in the box below. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, this is where you can reach me. And I uh, look forward to uh, being able to hear your comments of how you are now typing fluently in all sorts of languages. À la prochaine!